Hello, it's Ariel Brina. Today we will be working on aerial hammock skills. Don't forget to subscribe. The first thing we are going to learn is how to make a daisy chain knot. This will make a makeshift hammock in your regular silks. You are going to wrap the silk around your arm to make a circle. Hold the silk so the circle stays and you bring your arm out. Your arm will go in on the other side of the circle and you will pull the tail of your silk through. You will then tighten it down. For the second way, you wrap it around. You're going to wrap around the top and grab your tail. Then pull it through. This makes a bigger knot. Put your shoulders inside the silk and invert. You want that silk to slide into your lower back. You can then let go with your hands. To get back up, grab your silk and rotate back. To lace your legs, you are going to invert into a straddle. You are then going to lace your legs by pushing your feet in between the silks. To get out, you are going to go back to your inverted straddle, pull up on your silks, and rotate back. To get into a diaper, you are going to straddle, lace your legs, and then grab above your legs and pull up. Keep pulling up until you reach your diaper. The silk should be close to your hips. To get down, you can lower yourself down, unlace your legs, and hit your inverted straddle. To do a stag sit, you are going to lace your legs. One of your legs will be bent and one will be extended. The one that is extended will have a pointed toe. You are then going to pull up on the side that has the bent leg. Keep pulling up until you rotate and sit up into your stag. When sitting in your stag, I recommend that your front leg is extended instead of squished. You can make sure it's extended by pulling up higher on the silk. To get down, lower yourself back into your inverted straddle. Grab your silks, to stand to the side, kick over, and make sure that your hips hit the middle of the silk. Grab with both hands on one side and rotate into a sitting position. From your sitting position, you can stand and do a Buddha pose. To do the Buddha pose, make sure your feet are in front of the knot, your knees are behind the silk, and your shoulders are in front of the silk. You can then balance and let go and hit a Buddha pose. To get out, pull back up and stand up. To do a cocoon, stand in the silk and separate one silk. Push your shoulders into that silk and pike your legs. Separate the other silk and put your feet in. You can now hide in your cocoon. You can also plank out in the cocoon. To get out of the cocoon, you can stand back up and let yourself down. To do a crossback straddle, you are going to invert in your straddle. You are going to lace one of your legs and point that toe, pull up on the other silk, and put your foot over top of the laced foot. When you get up all the way, you are going to take the slack, wrap it around your body. From here, you can straddle in your crossback straddle. To get down, invert down, put your foot on top of the laced foot, rotate the silk around your body the opposite direction, and then lower into a standing position. To do a casket, get into your hammock. You're going to lay down. Make sure your feet are covered by the edge of the fabric. Position your shoulders inside the silk and your hands will grab on the outside rim of the silk. You are then going to rotate. When you rotate, make sure that your feet remain covered by that silk. You can then plank out into your casket and rotate back. To 
To get out, you can sit up and get out of the silk. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell. And comment what else you would like to see.